Hey guys, it's Maggie with Grind, and today I am bringing you a 25 minute upper body core cardio circuit. So we're gonna have three circuits. Each circuit's going to have two strength moves and one core move with some cardio Tabata series woven in throughout. So we're gonna start with a two minute warm up, and then we're gonna get right into the workout. If you feel like you need to stretch out more than two minutes, you can pause and then come right back and then start when you're ready. Okay, so speaking of a warm up, let's start now with getting some mobility going in those shoulders. So take a staggered stance here with your feet and let's get those arms coming forward, just like this. And for uh, the equipment that you'll need today, you're gonna just need a good variety of dumbbells for your upper body. So we're gonna be working, let's bring those arms back this way in the reverse motion. We're gonna be working with biceps, triceps, and then we've got some shoulders and back, okay? So have a good, nice variety of dumbbells there for you and let's get the tricep stretched out. So grab that left elbow and reach your fingertips down your back, just like this, and really reach down, get that nice stretch in that side body and that tricep, and then release it and switch sides in three, two, and one. So let's open, close, open, close. So I'm gonna have some music going on in the background. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, so hopefully you can hear that. If not, you can go ahead and set your own playlist and get that ready to go. Grab the other arm, grab that elbow, reach down, get the tricep, Okay, we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Go ahead, clasp your hands behind your back. Let's open up that chest, maybe fold forward here. And then go ahead and release those hands, and we're going to take a nice twist up towards the ceiling. Three, two, one. Rest a hand here or down on the mat and just open up. Good, and then release to the other side. I'm going to change my mic and just sort of put it down so it doesn't make any weird crackling noises today. So um, I'm going to put this down here in a second. Three, two, and one. So we're already close to the mat. Let's go ahead and head down into our plank and take our right leg up. Let's keep our left hand down and open up for a nice twist. Let's spend some time here on this side. So we can put that back knee down when you're ready, maybe go into a little bit of a hamstring stretch, getting the upper body. So if you take your hands and place them on the opposite side of your leg, okay, tuck your chin round your back, maybe reach your fingertips up towards those feet to get that upper body stretched out as well as the lower half. So hang out here for just a little bit longer. We'll switch sides. That's gonna complete our warm up. Again, it's a quick warm up for this shorter upper body workout, but if you need a little bit more, go ahead, switch legs. Like I said, feel free to pause it and then start this video up when you're ready, okay? Take that back. I'm in this new space here and it's a little dirty, so I'm going to have a ton of... <laughs> I thought I swept it out pretty good, but apparently not. So open up, it's all good. Hazards of working out in the garage, right? So stay in that stretch, guys. Keep opening it up. We can stand up when you're ready and we're going to get going with our format. Um, I'll explain it again really quickly. So you're going to have three circuits. The first one, we'll just talk about that one since we're starting with it. It's going to be shoulders and back, okay? First move is 45 seconds. It's a very quick transition into a 20-second cardio move. The cardio move is going to stay the same the whole time for the first circuit, and it's going to be jumping jacks. So you'll be doing 45 seconds of a strength, put the weights down really quickly, and then we go into 20 seconds of jumping jacks. I will show you modifications for jacks if you need them, okay? So... First move, guys, is going to be a strength-based move, and we're going to be doing two dumbbells. Okay, you're going to place one up on your shoulder here, the other one up in the air, we're going to be marching. So we're working core and shoulders here. So have that dumbbell resting on your right shoulder, left arm up. Let's march it out for 45 seconds. Here we go, in five. We're starting already. Three, two, and one. So this left arm is up. You can have a soft bend in that elbow and just march it out. So try to keep that back nice and straight up and down. Try not to arch back. So keep everything nice and straight up and down. We've got 45 seconds of this strength move, and then we're going into 20 seconds of that cardio move. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. You guys keep going. We're about halfway. All right, here we go. Keep going, up, down, up, down. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep going. It's a slow march, slow and controlled, getting that core. Our left arm is on fire. We'll sit up in the air. Here we go. Three, two, and one. I'm giving you a tiny bit of a transition time to drop the dumbbells. We're going 20 seconds left. Jumping jacks starting in three, two, and one. Jumping jacks can be modified by doing tack ups. 
if you want extra shoulders, you do overhead jack press. It's only 20 seconds though. Remember that, okay? So it's nice and quick. Jack it out. Jack it out. Good. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're moving on to our next move. We've got Arnold presses, guys. So 45 seconds, alternating. Arnold presses, standing up. If you prefer a kneel, if you want to sit on a seat, you can also do that. Okay, we've got 45 seconds coming up. We're going to turn those dumbbells right in front of our face here. Alternating Arnold presses. Here we go. Turn press. Bring it in. Turn press. Bring it in. Now take a staggered stance with those feet. That's my preference. You don't have to do that, but if you'd like to, take a staggered stance with those legs. So exhale at the top. Bring it in. Exhale at the top. Bring it in. Turn press. Turn press. These are 45 seconds rounds on the string. And then we got those 20 second cardio movements coming in afterwards to get our heart rate up a little bit more. Good, turn press. Jumping jacks are coming up in about 10 seconds. You're putting these weights down, guys. Good, turn press. Turn press. Three, two, and one. Here's our 20 seconds of jumping jacks. Remember your options for modification. Three, two, and one, jack. You really want to go straight through with some jumps, do star jumps. Pop out. Okay, so I'm giving you guys all levels today. Okay, from here to here. And then you can also do those jumps. Good. Keep going. Three, two, and one. All right. Back to strength. We're actually going to be doing some core and ab work on the mat. I'm going to do this one with you because it's a couple of rep counting. Four count boat holds to four twists. Okay, so option, heels up, hold four, three, two, one, twist, 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 twist for four, back to the hold. Bring a dumbbell with you. Do your body weight. Whatever you've got. 45 seconds. Here we go. Starting. Pull them on press. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna do it with body weight. Hold four, three, two, one. Now twist for four. Twist. Three, two, one, hold it, four, three, two, one, twist. Your heels do not have to be up, these can be down, four, just like that, three, two, one, twist, four, three, two, one, hold it, right here, four, three, two, one, drop down, or stay in that hold, hold, twist with your four, keep going, guys, can't find it right, going, all right, move it forward. Sorry, now I'm going off. Three, two, and one. Let's twist till the end. Twist, twist. Three, two, one. Good. Cardio, jumping jacks. We're getting them back in. Here we go. Starting that timer in about five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Jack it out. Jack it out right here. Remember your options, taps, jacks, or star jumps, guys. If you're doing star jumps, playing soft on those knees. Pop it out. Pop it out. Good. Low impact here. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're going back to the top. Okay, we're going back to the beginning with those marches. So this time, right arm is up in the air, okay? And we're doing those marches. We're still doing the jumping jacks in between, okay? And then we're moving on to the next circuit after we go through all three of these. Here we go. Three, two, and one, arm up, march, march, good. One notch down, maybe another one. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Good. Oh, I forgot to put my phone on, not to start too. Whew, failing today. First, <laughs> first workout being filmed in this uh, space, so I'm whew, not as, keep going, guys. I need to turn that off. Okay. This is where I need like a production team or something. Oh my God, help me out here. All right, march it out. March it out. Keep going, keeping that core tight, arm up in the air. Jumping jacks are on deck. Three, two, and one. Drop them down. Here we go. 20 seconds of jumping jacks is starting in three, in two, and one. Let's go. It's just 20 seconds. So do what you can, okay? We'll just have a couple more times with 
knees and then the cardio move will switch up next round or on the next circuit, I guess. Okay, check it out. Keep going. You've got five seconds. Push it. All right, we got three, two, and one. Car out. We're going on to that next strength move, which is that Arnold press. Okay, so turn press. Guys, make sure you have water handy, especially for the beginning, but make sure you're hydrating through this workout as well. Okay, I was just thinking I saw my water and I needed something. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Turn press, Arnold. Turn press, Arnold. That's the move for 45. I'm going to take a sip of water. You guys go. Or if you're with me, drink me water. Do that. And then go back in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start. We've got about 30 seconds here. Turn press. Right, so again, core is tight as you turn press. One is holding, you've got that iso hold while you turn and press the other one. If one fluid motion, don't split this up so it's really a nice fluid turn. Exhale to the top of that curl, or top of that press. We got eight, seven, we're not jumping jacks on that. In five, four, three, two, and one. We got 20 seconds coming up. Here's our jumping jacks in three, two, and one, let's go guys, jacked out. Okay, maybe we're going to start, now. this is how I'm going to try them out. So you kind of dip down, arms go out, legs go out. Good, keep going, that's enough. <laughs> All right, we've got four, three, two, one. All right, here's our four, let's head down. We've got our abs right here for 45, and then we've got that jumping jack for the last time. And then we're moving on to the circuit two. Here we go. I'm going to count for you guys. Three, two, and one. Let's hold our boat again. Four, three, two, one. Now let's twist, twist. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Turn. Four, three, two, one. Back where you can have a dumbbell, guys. Right here. Three, two, and one. Now twist. Four, three, two, one. One, hold it, four, three, two, one, turn, 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 hold it, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, hold it, four, three, two, one, near last one, let's twist till the end, we have four, three, two, one, keep twisting till the timer goes up, Woo. and one, up on, there. up on your feet, jumping jacks are here. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Jack it out. Last time. Push it, guys. If you want to try those jumps, now's your chance. Or if you're still here, maybe you're doing this. Maybe you've got small dumbbells and you're going overhead jacks or taps. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Get some water. We're moving on to our next circuit. Okay, next circuit is going to be biceps and some back. Probably a little bit of shoulders again, too, just because by default, right? So, first move, bicep curl. All the way up, we're going to pause it for three, two, one, and we drop. I will do it with you for counting purposes. So, choose your bicep curl weight wisely. That hold makes a difference. So, if you accidentally choose something too heavy, you can always switch it out in between. Okay, it's a little bit different than just regular bicep curls. So, we got 45 seconds, guys. Let's start. Three. Two and one. So you curl all the way up. Now let's pause it here. Three, two, one, drop it down. Do not have your elbows touching. They are out slightly from that body. Two, one, drop. All the way up. Pause. Three, two, one, drop them down. I personally like this staggered stance, especially at this one. Three, two, one, drop down. All the way up. Pause it here. Three, two, and one, make sure you get that full range of motion that releases at the bottom all the way up. Pause, three, two, and one, down, Woo. up, pause, three, two, and one. One last time, guys, all the way up. You're going to pause it here for three, two, one, drop it down. I didn't tell you what the cardio is. It's going to be skaters with a cross punch, okay? That is our cardio. So it's 20 seconds of these little shuffles, or sorry, no. Skater, cross punch, skater, my bad. All right, so if you want to use small weights, guys, you could do that. If you're not going to do the uh, hopping, if you're just going to be stepping, maybe grab some dumbbells, 20 seconds. 
Hop over, cross plank. Hop feeder, cross plank. So this is the higher impact, right? If you had small dumbbells and you just went in and out, it would look like this. Kind of step tap, step tap. Just slow it all down. Three, two, one. You're gonna have plenty of chances because that's our 20 second quick cardio for the whole circuit. Okay, back to strength. We got a new move here for 45 seconds and it is two back rows into two hammer curls. Hinging forward, one, two, you stand tall, two hammers. Now. We could always do alternating, one and one, and then one and one. So it depends on what weights you're using, right? So if you're going for heavier, you might need to go in those alternatings. Three, two, let's try it out. And one. I'm going to go with the kind of middle of the row. So I'm hinged forward. Two back rows, just regular rows. Now stand tall. Two hammer, either alternating or two at a time. Hinge for two back rows. Come up two hammers. Once again, you want a staggered stance, you can be there, even in those back rows. And then you're already in your staggered stance for your hammer curls. Try not to lock that body when you curl, right? Hinge, pull. Now up, look how everything's controlled instead of this, right? So you don't want to be doing that. If you're finding that you have to do that, you're probably going too heavy with your weight. You'll want to bring them down. Three, two, one. Here goes our skaters with our cross punch, guys. 20 seconds. It's very quick after the string. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Hop, cross punch, hop. Good. This is our move. 20 seconds. Keep going. We're adding a new move after this. Cross punch. That's it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break. We're going strength again. We've got on the mat. You're probably going to roll your mat if you're on cement or if you're on carpet. It's fine. Put something under your left knee. Left hand down. We're closing. Opening. Close. Open with the dumbbell. Smaller, heavier, whatever you guys want to use. 45 seconds of it starts. Whew. In five, four, three. So, extra challenge. Look at my left leg. Up in the air. It's almost like you're dumbbells so back to hit your chest, and then it goes up. You close it down, you open it up. This is extremely hard. Put this down if you can't get into that. Okay? It's hard to find your balance no matter what. So imagine like you're doing a snatch with your side weights. So, right, when you're zipping the zipper up, right there, zip, all the way up. Try not to overextend that arm. Close it, open it. Extra challenge. Lift. Ooh, it's like, I feel like this is round with it. I mean, too. So, ooh, it's like extra, extra. Close, open, close. Feel that left glute, too. You've got that leg lifted, that left glute's on fire. Three, two, and one. Stand, cross punches for cardio, the skaters, or those steps for 20. Starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. Hop, cross. So it really gets your body into the side. Turn. So you can feel your side body, right? Turn. Turn and cross. Get those obliques involved on these. You can handle a double team. Cardio and more. Three, two, and right, one. All right. Back to the top, okay? We've got the bicep curl, iso hold. All the way up, hold three, two, one again. So get your dumbbells ready. we got 45 seconds on the clock, starting in five, four, three, Two and one. Let's go. All the way up. We're holding it here. Three, two, and one. Drop it down. Go all the way up to the shoulders. Stop it at 90. Three, two, and one. We'll just check it out where we are this time. Come down. All the way up. Holding it here. Three, two, and one. Drop down. Go up. Hold it here. Three, two, and one. Drop down. Come up. We're holding it here. Three, two, and one. Drop it down. Come up, you're holding three, two, and one. Drop. All the way up. Hold it here. Three, two, and one. Drop down. Bring it up. We're holding it here. Three, two, and one. Drop down. Come up, hold three, two, and one. Here's our cardio. Cross punches for 20 seconds. In three, two, and one. Let's go. Hop or step. Cross punch. Cross punch. Good. 
right there. Nice work, you guys. Keep it going. Repeat. We're going back to the back and the biceps. So we're going camera to back row again. In three, two, and one. Back to 45 seconds. Here we go. Okay, not a ton of time here in between. Maybe enough to get a sip. And then get those dumbbells going. Two and two. Here we are. Woo, five, four, three. Make sure you're hinged over for those back rows. Hinge. Exhale. For two, you're up. Two hammers. Good. Hinge again. Maybe you do that little stagger with those feet. Okay, make sure on these back rows, guys. Elbows up. Okay, so it's like you're pulling them back. Not like this. Right? You're pulling them back like a hook is being attached at your elbow and it's being lifted up towards the sky or ceiling, wherever you are. Hinge, pull, pull. Now up, curl. Curl, 10 seconds, keep going. Hinge forward, pull back. Now you're up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cardio, cross punches. Here we go, guys. Not a lot of time to transition in three. Two and one. If I'm moving too fast, catch up when you can, okay? It's meant to be a long round of strength and then you do a really quick cardio to polish it up. Cross. Turn. Ten seconds. Turn and punch. Five. Four. Three. Into and one. On the mat. We're going other side with that opener, with that one dumbbell. Forty-five, and then we've got our skaters, guys, and then I didn't realize that. This is not, we're going to call it after that. We're going to do one more quick thing. Okay, I'm looking at the time and I'm like, we are not going to do that third circuit. Here we go, 45 seconds. i got to get better about these shorter videos. I'm so used to doing, open it up. Here we go, so it's this side. So left hand has the weight, right? All the way up, all the way down. I'm just so used to doing 45 minute workouts that when it comes to doing these shorter ones, I'm like, oh shit, we're actually almost done. Close. Which is kind of nice. I know some people, you go back and forth between, you know, you just don't always have time for a 45 minute workout, right? Close. Ooh, open this dumbbell. It's extremely heavy. I'm switching it out. Here we go. 20 seconds, guys. Lift that leg up if you can. Close. Open. We're standing up for cardio. We've got those skaters with a cross punch. Here we go. 10. We're going to do a quick burnout after it, though. Okay? Here we go. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. On your feet. 20 seconds of skaters, guys. We're going to get through this in three, two, and one. 20 seconds. Here we go. Hop, cross. Hop, cross. You guys stay up a little too much time. I'm going to go based on that. Okay? So, after this, we're going to burn out the triceps really quickly on the mat. Okay? We're just going to do like two minutes of banging them out with a tiny bit of cardio. Cross punch. Keep going. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. I wanted to do much of the triceps a little bit, so we're going to do that now. I'm giving you an option, okay? If you're someone who likes push-ups, let's go for tricep push-ups. Hate them, can't get into them. Skull pressures on your back with two dumbbells, okay? So that's your option if you're not doing the push-ups. I'm putting us on a timer, you guys. It's gonna be 30 seconds, okay, of the triceps, and then we're gonna flip around for 20 seconds of mountain climbers. Okay, so 30 and 20. Okay, so tricep push-ups if you're with me, or if you're on your back with skull pressures, that's a great option. Three, two, and one. So if you're doing tricep push-ups, elbows in close. I'll show them to you. We're already on, guys. Elbows in close to the body, down up. We're burning out the triceps right here. Down up. We're just going to do this three times, okay? So really quickly, down up or get your skull pressures in 10 seconds. If you're here for push-ups, you're going to be really easy to transition into those mountain climbers. If you're on your back, that's okay. Just flip around and you can. Here we go. Only a six-second break. Let's go mountain climbers for 20, 3, 2, and 1. We're on. 20 seconds of climbers. Quick, 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 guys. Get your heart rate up. Good. We're already at 10 seconds, so it's only 20 seconds, just like everything else with the cardio today. You've got eight. Seven, we're back to those skull crushers or push-ups in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So transition back. Make your way for skull crushers. We're going to do those tricep push-ups. 30 seconds. Start. I know it's quick, guys. I'm just trying to get through it. Three, two, and one. Okay? 
all the way down, all the way up. I'm on my knees here. Okay, just with the tricep push-ups, keep those hands closer together, and you're grazing the side of your body with those elbows. Okay, you're keeping them kind of narrow, and then leading with your chest. Whew. This is not only triceps, but everything else. Shoulders, biceps, all the things. We've got five. We're going back into mountain climbers. Three, two, and one. Take a six-second break, guys. Drop the dumbbells to the front for mountain climbers. We're going in three, two, and one. We're almost done. We're doing it one more time, and we're done with this. Here we go. 20 seconds. Quit. Good. Whew. Who needs 45 minutes, right? For workouts. We did a lot. Packed in a lot in 25 minutes. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Drop down, guys. We're going right in. It's our last round. Skull crushers, push-ups, your choice. Maybe you go heavier on your skull crushers for the final round. Three, two, and one. I'm going to go this way on my mat. Okay, we got our tricep push-ups right here. Ooh, I gotta push back. My arms are like dead. Although I did spend all weekend painting this entire freaking place. So that might be part of it, but not by myself. I did have help. But I'm not complaining. It was a good workout. We got four, three, two, one. Mountain climbers, 20 seconds, guys. This is it. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Then we're stretching out if we have time, or you can say goodbye and turn me off. Here we go. 15 seconds left, mountain climbers. Good. You've got five, four, three, two. I'm stopping early because I'm dying. And one. Nice job, you guys. All right, that was your 25 minute upper body core cardio. Great job. Whew. Take a breather, stretch out a little bit. We're already kind of in this position, or at least I am, so this is going to be great for stretching. Place your hands down. Sit back on those legs and reach up overhead. So get this nice side body stretch, guys. Lots of side body work. Really exaggerate this stretch. Reach, 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 reach. Maybe even look over that left shoulder. Getting your side and your upper body stretched out. Reach to the other side now. Whew. Take some deep breaths in your nose. Out your mouth. Bring that heart rate down. While we're up here, we might as well get into the triceps since we just worked those. So you want to get those again and get that side body and those whew, obliques stretched out again. Uncross. Let's get the other side. Maybe you want to get into some chest openers. Before we head in, let's get our tabletop. This is going to feel really good. My favorite, or my ultimate favorite upper body stretches is those threads. Okay, these are so good. For everything okay I do this often at night if I'm feeling tight in my shoulders and my upper back which is pretty often so you're in that tabletop you take your right hand you thread through take your right cheek to the mat okay so you're getting your lower back you've got your upper body you've got your neck shoulders now again over exaggerate that stretch by trying to take your gaze up don't strain yourself okay maybe just slightly and pretend like somebody had their hand pulling your arm away from you really stretching it out Lengthening those muscles. Whew. Feels good. Whenever you're ready, you can come out of that and do the other side. So it's the same thing. Okay, rest that left cheek on your mat. Focus on pulling down that left shoulder to the mat. It's not actually going to hit, but okay, just really, really, really stretching. Good. All right, well, I'm going to leave you with that. But there's plenty of other stretches you can do if you have the time. Do that now. Again, Maggie with Ryan, thank you for joining me for this 25-minute core cardio upper body workout. And I will be back with some new fun stuff in this new space. So more to come, and see you guys.